Let's go to the Lakers, who are meeting with coaches to fill their vacancy. <laughs> the team has a contingent of seven people uh -huh. making the trip for these interviews. Owner Jeannie Buss, GM Rob Palinka, yeah. Kirk and Linda Rambis, uh -huh. Jesse Buss, the assistant GM, director of scouting, Joey Buss, the president uh -huh. of their G League team, and their COO, Tim Harris. So is, Larry, right. is Larry Fitzgerald in that room? Larry Fitzgerald oh, is not in the room, see, not like the Suns. See, the Suns got one up on you. So, Ramona. We'll have a football player in there. Has the Lakers front office taken shape in the aftermath of Magic Johnson's <laughs> retirement here? <laughs> Taking shape. Uh, no, it's Rob Palinka running this, and I think everybody else around there. And I think he listens to Kurt Rambis. He's he was he had a role last year that was sort of the shadow advisor liaison right. between front office and coaching staff. I love that we're qualifying this as a shadow advisor. Yeah. It's just oh. it's just funny to yeah, think of, right? Role, like, but it wasn't yeah. like a big title or anything. It was right, just right. like advisor, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, he's he has a much more prominent role now. Yes. Um, but the 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 younger bus kids being in this role, it being in those interviews, was interesting. To to me because they have you know the, the G League team did well yes. those players did well when yes. they when they came up the Lakers have drafted and developed fairly well yeah sometimes they trade those players um, or let them go as free agents right um, but, but that's was, not those guys decisions but right. Jesse and Joey bus have not been as involved in the general the general decision making which suggests either they're going to be more involved going forward or whatever decision is made on the coaching whoever the coach is going to be Rob Palenka Jeannie bus want them involved as well so that everybody shares in the success or failure of it. So, I mean, what I would say is, I, much like Ramona, I like that the younger buses are yeah. involved here in this particular situation, because as Ramona pointed out so succinctly, they have been really good at their jobs, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. The scouting department, look at the kids that they've been able to yep. bring in and they've been able to the draft, uh, or been able to draft, a lot of that is on them um, and their work. Mm -hmm. And of course, I think Tim Harris, having the, the guy who's in charge of the business side, yeah. who's clearly very good at his job, makes a lot of sense because look, the rest of that, Palinka, even Kurt in this particular role, um, look. they don't have a ton of experience there. They're not, we don't know how good they are at their job yet, so I'd rather have people in the room that I know are good at their particular They're job. They're good at their particular jobs, but none of those people have ever been in that that part of the process before, and that is concerning, one. Two. You're saying as a whole, the yeah, collective. As, yeah, like, right. so Kurt Rambis is a coach. He's, he hasn't had to hire a head coach before. Is uh, Palinka, same thing. Like, this is everyone's first go-around at interviewing a head coach, a head coaching candidate. Second of all, we had Bill Plaschke on your show, George, yep. and the two things he said that I walked away mm -hmm. with, wow, was one, Kurt Rambis will either be the associate head coach of whoever the new head coach is for the Lakers or the assistant general manager. Well, and, and pause for a second there because he told us, he sprung that on us on the radio show and said that uh, that's, that's the conversation they had with Ty Lu, and his reaction was that Ty Lu probably was like, wait a minute, what? what? Like, what, what is happening I, I here? He already, ha well, first of all, he's had that job in the past, right. way back when. Right. right. Um, and that was sort of expected. I mean, you have to understand the dynamic of the Lake organization. Yeah, but nobody wants a mole in their, in their, that, on that, their coaching staff. And that's how it's perceived. And that's how, well, that's how it would be perceived, yeah. right? And then two, and this also blew, blew my mind, I always knew that Linda Rambis and Jeannie had mm -hmm. a great relationship. Correct. And she's a close advisor. But some agents and GMs around the league have dubbed her the shadow owner right. of the Lakers. Yeah. That everything goes through Linda Rambis. And if you want to convince Jeannie of something, you got to get to Linda first. Right. And again, like, there's one thing to be someone's yeah. close advisor. It's another thing to have that reputation um, because it begins to uh, breed these questions. Well, who's in charge here? Right. Well, the what I will say is, I actually, the, the fact that people talk about that now is funny to me because it's been that way really well, for 40 yeah. years. Okay. Like, like yeah, they've been best friends for yeah, forever. Friend. Yeah. Like, so it, and personality wise, it, if you know them, it sort of makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, Jeannie can be shy. Linda is more of a talker. She's more of a doer. Mm -hmm. um, and it, the difference is, in the past, her role has been more as a consigliere or an events person. On the business whereas side. right now, right. there's yeah. a lot more dealing with agents. But this isn't actually all that new. Yeah. It's right. just being talked about now because the other people, like Magic Johnson, are not there. Because the layers yes. in between. Right ownership and basketball are not there right well and because they're having to make basketball decisions now just not just business decisions right. now so it feels like the rambi uh, <laughs> are gaining more power <laughs> in, in this situation yeah, I, but I, what i would say is i think that's always been the case sure I think they've sure. always had that power but not not necessarily in basketball 
Not necessarily, but right. that's yeah. the owner yeah. right there. Yeah. I, the Rambi, though, is look, a great name. Look, it's just name a, look, we're doing that. Game of Thrones. It's like yeah. Hand of the King. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right, so let's look, look at the reported right. candidates for the Lakers coaching job. So, Ramona, it's <laughs> Ty Lue, Monty Williams, Jason Kidd got an interview, Jawan yeah. Howard got an interview. What's the timeline here? So, what I'm trying to figure out is if they're just stalling until Monty Williams can give them an answer. Right? Okay. Um, you know, Monty Williams is in the middle of the playoffs right yep. now. And there is this sense that he could be in line for other jobs, right, in Phoenix or right. in Philadelphia if that situation opens up. Yep. Um, and so is this just we're going to take our times because we need Monty to be able to give us a real answer? Right. Uh, yeah. that, that, that's what it feels like. But the Sixers' job is better than the Lakers' job, isn't it, if, if Brett Brown were to let, be let go? Maybe. Uh, you know, like, I don't know. Well, I what happens if they don't win, right? Like, that might not be a great situation either. Mm. Well, so, Ramona, I, I got a question for you because you, you mm. obviously have the pulse better than anybody. Does this mean that they are not going to search for a president of basketball operations or are they just doing this out of process? Meaning they're going to hire a head coach mm -hmm. and then they're going to hire a new boss who may or may not agree. With I don't the think right now that they're searching for a head of basketball operations. It wow. doesn't feel that way to me. Mm -hmm. um, but the, I think it is part of process and I think there is a there was a shocking decision by Magic Johnson that has left them in a spot where they go, okay, what are we going to do? What right. do we want to do? Um, and they're figuring it out as they do things in the middle and in, in between, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't think they're in any kind It doesn't seem like they're in any kind of a hurry. Right. Um, and maybe they are just waiting until Monty can give them a real answer. Right. But um, I don't, I know there's this, there's a lot been out there about is there a, a, you know, somebody coming in above to run basketball operations. I have called on the inside and on the outside anybody that, <laughs> right. it, it doesn't seem like anything's happening unless people are in, incredibly good liars. I, it doesn't feel like that's what's <laughs> happening. But could that change if there is another high profile belly flop? Right. Yeah.